journalist. Um, um, I mean, my subject matter behind my work mostly is about uh, current affairs, you know, things that are happening right now in front of my eyes and what I hear from the news daily. My, my primary concern in my practice is to, um, to try to enforce uh, 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 each and every challenge that each person go through and the, the burdens that each person carries. So that's why I find out in my work there are a lot of elements that is uh, compressed together. Most of the figures are also driven from my dreams, you know. People that kind, kind of coming to haunt me. I cannot escape and I cannot run away from it and it's not my aim to do that but I'm being forced by the energy that is surrounding me, you know, to, 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 to it, it jumps into my work. Each time when I look at, at a piece of a canvas, the image that comes out of that, it's uh, inspirational, that is within my, my soul, that I'm taking it out and put it there as my own, you know, uh, therapy, my own medicine to, to heal, you know, all these demons that are kind of haunting me daily, you know. And at my early age, I never had like a, a, a board guardians and I never also stayed with my other guardians because of, uh, I was that person who never wanted to be under some, like under other, under, under other men's guide rather than my biological father, which I never met him in my entire life up until when I saw his grave. Um, I think early, early this year, January, you know. So during that time, all these things, they happened that, okay, I could not manage to make a proper living like uh, other kids, you know. So I had to try my own, by my own, and which uh, landed me in prisoner, and then in prisoner, they, that's where I got bored, you know. So uh, I had to try, like, start sketching stuff around me, sketching people's portraits, and uh, you know, keeping, killing time, sort of, you know, it was not an actual thing that I planned, you know, because I saw that, okay, I'm sentenced to nine years and I'm still going to stay more than, I don't know, years, because on that nine years, it was two years suspended and seven, and that seven, I stayed five years, six months. So during that period, I mean, imagine doing nothing, it's, it's a waste of time. So I decided to go to school and start practicing art, you know, uh, yeah, during that time, I mean, it happened that, okay, I got the support from other inmates who wanted to surprise, like, their families outside, you know, maybe I do a portrait of the girlfriend, you know, all this and that. So during that time, I discovered that, oh, if I can be able to manage to generate some few uh, cash inside, what about if I'm outside where I can walk uh, from Cairo to, you know, to Cape whatsoever. And I, on my release, when I got outside, I was lucky, very, very lucky that I was in the right direction. I met the right people. So each time uh, when I met um, uh, uh, the owner of the unit at Gallery, which was next to the school that I was uh, at, she, she saw like, oh, I've developed a new technique, this and that, and she encouraged me to do more. And then 2012, I won the award, the Reynolds Katsura Award, which uh, placed me in a proper position now because during that time, I never experienced media, you know, and media started to pour in, coming in, trying to understand what, what is it that is in my mind that made me to think like that. As an artist, it's not healthy for you to wait for an exhibition to come, you know. You must keep producing, be prepared for anything, which sometimes um, I use the term of, of that I was born prepared, you know. So anything that comes on my way, I execute it. It is an opportunity, I take it, you know. <laughs>